Before the Attitude Era, before the New Generation Era, there was the Hulkamania Era. Probably the most influential era in modern wrestling history. You had your most over-the-top characters, the best tag teams of all time, the creation of WrestleMania, the creation of the modern pay-per-view events. The Hulkamania Era was must-see TV at the time. And we're going to check out one of the defining years of the Hulkamania Era. That was 1988 in Universe Mode. And well, well, well. Okay, guys, we are here January 1st, week 1, 1988. You can see Hulk Hogan there. The, of course, you know he is the champion coming in to 1988. We're going to check out the rest of the division for the second here. But let's go into the shows that we have here. It's only WWF Superstars of Wrestling, guys. This is before your Raws, your SmackDowns. Like, this is your bare bones one hour show where they showcase the talent on the roster. So. We're gonna check out the details of the show here in a second here, but we have our big four pay-per-views of the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and the Survivor Series. In between that, since we didn't have 13 pay-per-views a year, we're gonna have Saturday night's main events in between. So let's go into the rosters here. Let's check those out real quick and see on who we have here on the roster, who are the champions coming into 1988. The WWF champion coming in 88, as I mentioned, is Hulk Hogan. The Honky Talk Man is still your Intercontinental Champion and still continuing his dominant reign, the longest reign ever for the IC Championship. And your World Tag Team Championships are held by Tito Santana and Rick Martel, Strike Force, Girls in Cars. What a theme song. It was amazing. I don't care if you guys don't know what that is. It's amazing to me. And also here, guys, there were only three championships back in the day in 88. Yes, there could have been the WWF Women's title or even the WWF Women's Tag Team Championships. But for God's sakes, like there was no jumping bomb angels or the gold or the glamour girls. I was going to call them the golden girls, but they're called the glamour girls. Uh, there, no one, no one dared to create those two teams here uh, in 2K20. All right, guys, let's check out this stacked roster. Here is the WWF World Title Division here. We have Randy Savage, right? This is before he won the WWF title at WrestleMania 4. He was just a few months out from winning that title here. He recently turned face. Andre the Giant here. This is before that match between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant at that Saturday Night's main event. Or was it the main event? I think it was, called, I think it was the main event uh, that they wrestled against each other where Ted DiBiase was awarded the title from Andre the Giant where the title became, became vacated. And we had a WrestleMania 4 tournament that we had. Roddy Roddy Piper, he was pretty much inactive at this time. But of course, still going to be part of the main event division because he was a main event no matter where he was on the card in the 80s. Ted DiBiase, as I just mentioned, Paul Orndorff, I mean, I couldn't really think where to put Paul Orndorff. He was going to be out of the company uh, very, very soon here in 1988 anyway. But to me, he was always a main eventer in this time frame from 84 all the way from the time that he left. Harley Race, I mean, are you going to tell me where to put Harley Race? You're going to tell me to put Harley Race in the IC division? Nope, he is a main eventer, even though he wasn't treated like it in WWF. But for, you know, but for the sake of this video, he's going to be here in this division. And yeah, he did have a, a feud against Hulk Hogan in early 88 anyway. I think it was earlier mid 88 that he had an actual feud with them. But, but regardless though, like Harley Race, like he's, he's a, he's a main eventer. Like, come on, let's not be serious about this. I see title division, guys. This is pretty stacked. We have Honky Tonk Man, of course, as your champion. Rick Rude. Bruce the Barber Beat Cake. Greg Valentine. Ultimate Warrior before he won the IC title. Jake Roberts, I, you know, I couldn't have Jake Roberts anywhere else but here. Reason being is because, you know, he wasn't a guy that was going after titles, but he is definitely, like, he wasn't a main eventer either, but he was definitely in this mix for the IC title. Like, if he wanted to be part of this division, he could have. Mr. Perfect Kurt Henney and Ricky Steamboat, he was on his way out of the company as well. He actually faced off against Rick Rude, at uh, Royal Rumble 88, so I think that was in the opening match, um, and the Royal Rumble 88, by the way, guys, it wasn't even a pay-per-view, it was actually like a, a TV broadcast, right, so the very first Royal Rumble wasn't really even really a pay-per-view, but of course, it's gonna be a pay-per-view in this simulation. All right, guys, here is the tag team division, the most stacked tag team division that we're probably ever gonna see, unless if I do like a 1990 or 89 or 
around this era of video, we have the Brain Busters, the, the Four Horsemen, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, the Twin Towers, Big Boss Man, and Akeem. Shawn Michaels, a young Shawn Michaels. This is about four years before he turned heel and became a singles guy, but he's here with Marty Jannetty, part of the Rockers. Previous champions in 84, 85, the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov, they're still hanging here. You know what I mean? The Iron Sheik was on his way out of the WWF here. Nikolai Volkov was gonna uh, team up with, I forgot the other guy's name, but uh, but he was gonna be part of the Bolshevik, Vol 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 Bolsheviks, <laughs> uh, very soon here. Axe, Smash, Demolition. Like, one of the most influential tag teams of all time. Them and the Legion of Doom are the two of the most famous tag teams coming out of the 80s. Speaking of famous tag teams, Jim Neihart and Brett Hitman Hart, the Hart Foundation. This is about two to three years before Brett became a, a serious single competitor. You got Jim Neihart here. So, I mean, this is, you know, one of the most popular tag teams of all time here. You got Jim Brunzel and Brian Blair, as uh, the Iron Sheik will say. <laughs> we got the Killer Bees, the powers of pain of the Barbarian and Warlord are here. The Bushwhackers, the Fabulous Rujos, and the British Bulldogs. You cannot tell me that this division is not stacked whatsoever. This is amazing on what we got here. And wait, there's more. And here is our other wrestlers here. I did not put them in any division because, simply because they were really weren't going after titles at the time. They were just special attractions. They were on TV. They were guys that were just there, right? But they were still over. So, for example, Paul Romer. Okay, that's, that's a bad example because he did team up with Hercules uh, to form Power and Glory uh, like a year or two after this here. We got Orin Hart the Blue Blazer. Butch Reed, Bam Bam Bigelow, right? This is his first stint in WWF before he came back in like 93 and challenged LT at WrestleMania 11. Dino Bravo, Don Morocco, former IC champions here. Don Morocco, maybe I should put him in the IC division, but he was on his way out of the WWF at the time. Speaking of on their way out, George Still was on his way out as well, but very popular. Hillbilly Jim, very popular. Hacksaw Jim Duggan was probably one of the most over guys who never really went after a title on the WWF roster in the 80s. Hercules, Junkyard Dog, who he was on his way out of the company as well in around 88. Haku, Haku, he was part of the Heenan family. The only thing that Haku was really doing here was feuding with Harley Race and he eventually became tag team partners with Andre the Giant, but that was two years from now when they won the tag team titles. Coco, beware the bird man. Miss Elizabeth, we got Miss Elizabeth here. Of course, she's not wrestling. She's going to be the manager of the Macho Man. And we have the Red Rooster here. So what a division here. This is our most stacked roster that we ever had ever had in the simulation series. The most stacked roster. A oh, bunch of future Hall of Famers, stars, future world champions, current world champions, former world champions. All here in this simulation series here for 1988. Uh, before we check out our very first pay view, which is the Royal Rumble, let's check out what we have here in our options because it is very important here for, for this particular year. Okay, or, or obviously we're going to have the rivalries. Or obviously, we're you know, it's not going to be faithful to the actual Royal Rumble. In 1993, that's when the winner of Royal Rumble goes on to challenge the champion at WrestleMania. But for the sake of the video, I know that, but for the sake of the video, Whoever wins the Rare Rumble will challenge for the title at WrestleMania. Most likely gets Hogan. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's time for us to go to the Royal Rumble and uh, let's see who's on the card, what kind of title matches we're going to have, and also on top of all of that, who's going to win the very first ever Royal Rumble. All right, guys, here we go. The 1988 Royal Rumble, the very first Rumble here. Let's run down the card. We have the British Bulldogs versus the Powers of Pain. We have the Killer Bees versus Demolition with Mr. Fuji. Look at that. I even got the managers here. We have the Men's Royal Rumble here at the third match. We have for the IC Championship, we have Bruce the Barber Beatcake versus the Honky Tonk Man with Jimmy Hart. For the tag team title, we have Strike Force putting their titles online versus the Brain Busters with that weasel Bobby the Brain Heathen here as their manager. For the WWF Championship, we have Roddy Piper versus Hulk Hogan. And in our main event, we have Andre the Giant 
versus Randy Savage. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to definitely check out the Royal Rumble and we're definitely going to check out this world title match here. But, oh man, how can you guys not be excited for this? This is the game that I wanted when I was like, you know, seven, eight years old. Let's go through these matches here. Let's check out the Royal Rumbles here right now. Let's simulate who's going to win here between the British Bulldogs here and the Powers of Pain here. And it looks like the Powers of Pain are going to walk away the winners here. The Killer Bees versus Demolition. Who's going to win here? The Killer Bees defeats Demolition. Oh my goodness, that is an upset there if i ever seen one. All right, guys, Royal Rumble time. Let's see here who's going to walk out the Royal Rumble here as the new number one contender for the WWF Championship. Here we go, guys, the Royal Rumble. Let's check out and see who's going to be the first entry here and it's gonna be the natural butch reed coming to the ring here and you know i will never ever doubt anything again on what i saw in the last two videos here that i did here in the simulation series if you come out at number one number two you're gonna be in there for a long time so hopefully i'm not jinxing butch reed here at this point in time this is a sick Royal Rumble arena here. The old school WWF logo on the bottom. And check out who's coming out at number two. It is the Barbarian one half of Powers of Pain. He's doing double duty tonight because he was in that opening contest. Or was that the second match? It doesn't matter. But regardless, he is doing double duty here tonight. And will he go far here in this Royal Rumble match? That is remain to be seen here. Royal Rumble is underway here. And the power of the Barbarian gets us all started here we're just gonna win this royal rumble guys let me know down in the comment section here i mean we don't know who's gonna be in the match so based off the roster that you've seen just take a uh, uh, you know take a wild guess make it fun for yourself make it fun for yourself right and also as well since you guys have watched this before the actual royal rumble this saturday here who do you think is gonna win the Royal Rumble match? Um, you know, that could be anybody. That could be like Big E or maybe Brock Lesnar gets in the Royal Rumble match somehow. I don't know. But here goes Bret Hart coming at number three here. Oh, Butch Reed. Butch Reed's in trouble. Here comes The Rock, Don Morocco, and Butch Reed. No! The very first entry is eliminated just like that. We're not gonna see a crazy number one entry. Well, a long time in the ring. He got eliminated here within minutes of the Royal Rumble starting. But The Rock. Yeah, he was called The Rock, guys. He was called The Rock before The Rock. <laughs> Don Morocco. Look it up. What do you think? Oh, Andre the Giant. He's coming out to the ring. He's actually going to have a match in the main event against Randy Savage here. But he has a chance to actually win the Royal Rumble. He's coming at number five, though. We still have plenty of more potential stars here in this Rumble that hasn't shown up yet. Okay, that's not the star I was looking for. I mean, okay, let, I mean, let's not discredit former four horseman Paul Roma. He was a former horseman. One half of the Bushwhackers, Bushwhacker Luke is coming into the ring here. Oh no, 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 Karangi. Oh, Karangi, no, Mr. Perfect. Did not have a perfect Royal Rumble. He's eliminated by Nikolai Volkov. The only main eventer in this match is Andre the Giant. The Barbarian is still in this match here, and he may be going over right now as we speak. Yeah, that may be it for Barbarian. Barbarian, you put out a very, very valiant effort. Command number two here, but your time has come. The animal's gonna eliminate you here. You are done. 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 You're not done. I told you you're not done. I told you you're not done. I told you you were gonna be in there for a long time. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it the entire time. Oh, the power Andre the Giant smashing down. The Junkyard Dog, and here comes the British Bulldog here. And Barbarian just eliminated, who was that, Nikolai Volkov? I think he just eliminated Nikolai Volkov. So the Barbarian is more than halfway through the Rumble. Can he get to the very end? Can he be our very first wrestler in a simulation series to get to the very end from the opening two positions here? That would be amazing type of feat that we'll ever see here oh my god oh my god British Bulldogs is getting eliminated no oh there goes Paul Roma as well it, Barbarian is having a he's having himself a rumble he is having himself a rumble ladies and gentlemen Andre the Giant's been in the ring forever too as well man I am surprised that he is not being eliminated by pure exhaustion as of yet oh Junkyard Dog's in trouble maybe Andre's in trouble as well oh 
Andre the Giant is eliminated by the British Bulldog. Andre the Giant was eliminated by the British Bulldog and the Barbarian is still in the match. The Barbarian is still in this match. He's been eliminating people. He just eliminated Paul Orndorff. What the hell? He's, he refuses to get eliminated. He refuses to get eliminated. Look at, look at Smash, man. That's a very good model of Smash. Smash! Smash got eliminated by the Barbarian. What in the hell? Barbarian's gonna win this. Like, like I'm convinced. He, he's gonna win this. Like, there's been nobody that's been able to stop him. Shawn Michaels. Before the Rockers break up here. Okay, oh my God. Well, there goes Shawn there. We're coming out to the nitty grid, guys. We're coming out to the nitty gritty. Coming at number 27, the Dynamite Kid. And, and, and if you guys notice in this match here as well, we have all tag team wrestlers in this match. And there goes Shawn Michaels, eliminated there by Iron Sheik. And there goes Jim Brazil, eliminated. Like, like, look at this. The three people in the ring right now are in a tag team. Here comes Coco Beware. Will Coco Beware become the Royal Rumble winner? Will he eliminate? Oh, Sheiky Baby's eliminate. <laughs> Barbarian. He came all the way from number two. And he's in at the very end of this thing. We'll never see this ever again. He's tired, though. He's tired, though. But we will never, ever see this again in, in the simulation series. Like, there's no way. What are the odds of this happening? Oh, look at this. Randy Savage. This is possibly our last main eventer here in this match. And he's coming at number 29. He's going to go up against the Barbarian. Will he eliminate the Barbarian? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ran oh, God, the Barbarian. We have one main eventer in the ring right now, which is Randy Savage, who is going to wrestle in the main event tonight against Andre the Giant. And speaking of main eventer, and, uh, and of course, he's going to be at number three. There goes Randy. What the hell, Barbarian? Wait, wait. No way. You have a chance. Oh, my God, DiBiase, what are you doing? You could eliminate him there. You came at number 30. You paid for the 30 position. You had the, the chance to eliminate the Barbarian, and you didn't. Down to the final four. Who is going to go on to WrestleMania? Oh, it ain't going to be Coco Beware. Barbarian, I don't know how many eliminations he has, guys. He has probably... He legit probably has at least seven to eight eliminations in this match. Oh, my goodness, no. Down to the final three. Barbarian, the Million Dollar Man, and the Dynamite Kid here. To say that this was going to be the final three here, I don't think we will ever, ever see this here. Is the Dynamite Kid, is he going to live? Oh, the Barbarian, he just reverses everything, bro. Oh, there, no, there goes the Dynamite Kid. Oh, big clothesline there to the back of the head of the Barbarian. Oh, Barbarian, is he finally going to be eliminated? Is he finally going to be eliminated? The Barbarian is eliminated by Ted DiBiase. Wow. The Barbarian, who came in at number two. I really thought he was going to win. I really thought he was going to win. But Ted DiBiase figured it out and got him eliminated. Will the Million Dollar Man, who drew number 30, come in and buy his way to a Royal Rumble win here in 1988? Dynamite Kid, he has Ted DiBiase on the ropes. The Dynamite Kid, the Dynamite kid the dynamite kid has won the royal rumble he has won the very first ever royal rumble here in a classic oh well, i won't say classic but very very good back and forth between the dynamite kid and ted dibiase the dynamite kid walks out your royal rumble winner and will be main eventing wrestlemania for against whoever the champion is which we're about to find out next right now roddy piper versus hulk hogan Let's continue with the Royal Rumble. All right, guys, that was an amazing Royal Rumble match. But let's move on to the IC title match. Honky Tonk Man versus Bruce Beefcake. Will Honky Tonk still continue his long title reign? And yes, he is still going to be your IC champion. All right, for the World Tag Team titles, will Strikers walk into WrestleMania 4 like they did in real life with the tag team titles? Or will Tolly Blanchard and Arn Anderson Throw a wrench into that. Will we see our first tile change here in the simulation series? And it is going to be no strike force. Somehow, some way, figures it out. And they are still your tag team champions. Here's the second match we're going to watch, guys. We're going to watch Roddy Piper versus Hulk Hogan. Remember, and 
you know, Roddy Piper never, ever, ever, ever lost to Hulk Hogan in a one-on-one -on -one match, ever. So, are we going to see that here? Is history going to repeat itself here at the Royal Rumble? Who may most likely walk in to WrestleMania as the WWF Champion? Let's check it out right now. Here we go, Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan. Who is going to most likely walk into WrestleMania as WWF Champion and face off against the Dynamite Kid? Match is underway. Let's see. Beautiful suplex to start off with Roddy Piper against Hogan. A big scoop slam there. We know what happens next. Oh, we thought we were about to see a leg drop there. Piper has a sleeper. Piper has a sleeper. Oh, Hogan immediately draw breaks Roddy. And that could be the difference here in this match. Roddy is avoiding that scoop slam. Back and forth here. I have no idea who's going to win this match because it's just been so even so far between these two. A oh, big boot there by Hogan. Big boot there by Hogan. Off the ropes. Is that going to take care of Piper? Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. We need a leg drop to end Piper here. And I don't know if we're going to see that here. We may see here because Piper looks like he is out. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, he misses. He misses. Piper. Piper. He has Hogan in the sleeper. He has Hogan in the sleeper. Yeah, my goodness, my goodness, Roddy, Roddy Piper is your new WWF Champion, and Hogan's put to sleep, and Piper is still undefeated against Hogan in WWF, and well, WCW wasn't around, but you guys get what I'm saying here. Unbelievable, we are going to see Piper versus possibly the Dynamite Kid. We only have one title change here at the Royal Rumble, and that is Roddy Piper becoming the new WWF Champion. Let's move on, guys, to Saturday Night's main event. And of course, of course, I make a mistake here. Of course, I forget about the main event here. We have Andre the Giant versus Randy Savage here, and these two guys were both in a Royal Rumble match. Let's see who's gonna walk out of the winner here at the Royal Rumble to get some good momentum going into WrestleMania and the very first Saturday Night's Main Event. Who's gonna win here? And it will be the Macho Man Randy Savage in a three-star match uh, against Andre the Giant. Okay, let's move on to the first Saturday Night's Main Event. I'm gonna simulate through this here, guys. For the Saturday Night's Main Event, we may, may watch one or two matches out of this entire simulation, guys, to keep this video to a respectable time. So, let's simulate through the first match here. Uh, let's see who's going to win here between the Rougeau brothers or the Brain Busters here. It looks like Tolly and Arn win against the Rougeaus here in a two-star classic that was scored by Dave Meltzer. The Tag Team Champions here versus the Powers of Pain here. And, oh, the Powers of Pain. Did I say the Powers of Pain? The Twin Towers. But the Twin Towers uh, defeat uh, the World Tag Team Champions of Strike Force. Rick Rude versus Brutus Beefcake. Rick Rude wins. Triple threat match. Ted DiBiase, Harley Race, or Paul Orndorff. Who's going to win here? And Ted DiBiase pulls it off here against Harley Race and Paul Orndorff. Shiki Baby and Nikolai Volkov versus the Rockers here. And it looks like the Rockers defeat the foreigners known as the Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. Greg the Hammer Valentine versus the Hoggy Talk Man. Non title match here. And the Hoggy Talk Man defeats. Greg the Hammer Valentine. Demolition versus the Killer Bees here. And Demolition wins and they defeat the Killer Bees. Piper versus Hogan. The new WWF champion versus Hulk Hogan. Will Hogan get his revenge or will Piper continue to reign here in 1988? And Piper wins in a non title match. Still undefeated against Hogan in one on one matches. British Bulldogs with the Dynamite Kid. The Royal Rumble winner versus the, the other Royal Rumble specialist, the Barbarian, who just dominated. I would be surprised. I would not be surprised if the Powers of Pain win here. And no, the British Bulldogs win. So it looks like Dave Boy Smith and the Dynamite Kid continue their momentum here, especially the Dynamite Kid going into WrestleMania. And in your main event, Andre the Giant versus randy savage who's gonna take the win here and randy savage in another three-star match all right guys that was it for that saturday night's main event 
in February. We're gonna move on to March now, where we have another Saturday Night's Main Event. We're gonna watch one match from this event here, and let's see what kind of card we have here. Uh, it may be the same card for all we know, but let's check it out right now. Well, here we are, guys. Check this out. Here is your other Saturday Night's Main Event here in March. This can shake things up for the main event for WrestleMania. In your opening contest, scheduled for one fall for the WWF Championship, Macho Man Randy Savage versus Roddy Piper. We're watching that match. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Look at the Macho Man. He's coming out with Miss Elizabeth here. Oh, come on, man. How can you guys not love this here? Sorry, nice main event. He's here, and he's ready to possibly win the WWF Championship. Yo! No game. Come on. No. 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 2K22, you cannot come out any sooner. You cannot come out any sooner. Okay, guys. So, the game decided to freeze. And the car changed. The car completely changed. So, the only... Like, the only thing that, was, that stayed the same was, I believe, these matches here. These last four matches stayed the same. Now we have Randy Savage and Ry Piper in the main event as a one-on-one -on -one steel cage match. So that is interesting. Um, however, outside of that, it looks like we have a lot that changed here. Like, Rick Root is not going up against Honky Tonk Man anymore for the title. Honky Tonk Man is going up against Jimmy Hart. I'm sorry, he's going up against Grant Valentine. He's with Jimmy Hart. So, let's just simulate, let's get some very in here, and let's watch this match. Thank God it's, that stayed the same. Let's watch this match here. We're going to turn up the entrances and just go straight into that match there. All right, guys, let's simulate Ultimate Warrior versus Mr. Perfect here. The Warrior defeats Mr. Perfect. Greg Valentine versus the Hoggy Talk Man. The Hoggy Talk Man, the IC champion, who did not put his title on the line against Rick Rude, gets the win here versus Greg the Amber Valentine. We have Rick Rude versus Bruce Beefcake, and Rick Rude defeats the Barber. Jake the Stick Roberts, we haven't seen him yet. We didn't see him in the Royal Rumble here. He's going up against Ricky Steamboat, and Jake the Snake wins. We have Strike Force versus the Rockers. Who's going to win here? And the Rockers defeated the World Tag Team Champions in a non title match here. Your WrestleMania 3 rematch. Who's going to win between Andre and Hulk Hogan? And Hulk Hogan defeats Andre the Giant. Your rematch from last Saturday night's main event. Who's going to win here between the Bulldogs and the Powers of Pain here? And it is going to be the Powers of Pain. They defeat the British Bulldogs. So there's your 50-50 booking. Okay, Bruce Pritchard. Okay, Vince. Okay, you know, John Lone Ryan. So I hope you guys are happy with this. Hope you guys are happy with this with this 50-50 booking. Holy Race versus Ted DiBiase. And Ted DiBiase with Virgil defeats Harley Race. Our main event for the WWF Championship. Randy Savage, Roddy Piper. It froze last time. It better not freeze again. This is a still cage match this time. So this match may be very, very short. Nevertheless, who's going to walk into WrestleMania as your WWF Champion? Oh my goodness. Can't wait. Let's do it right now. Let's check it out. Piper versus Macho Man. Matches on our way. Old school blue steel cage. You can only win by pinfall submission. Oh, I'm sorry, pinfall skipping the cage. No submission here in this match. And in the old school, old school, you can only go out by escaping the cage here. But we saw what happened in the last video with Kane and uh, Kurt Angle. Like, that's not going to happen again. So, but let's check out. Let's see who's going to walk into WrestleMania as champion. The Macho Man is going to be your new... No, wait, wait, wait. I thought Piper was done. I thought Piper was done. I thought Piper was done. Is he? Oh, my goodness. The Harvard champion. The Harvard champion. The Harvard champion. I thought Piper was finished. What? Oh, what a dodge there by Savage. Oh, oh wait, wait. They're going to do this again. They're going to do this again. Randy Savage is on top. So is Piper. Oh, my God. Piper's trying to get down. Savage wants to fight. Piper was trying to escape. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't it be funny if you could just, like, knock him over and, like... And, like, accidentally make the other guy win the match. Oh, oh, Piper's going down! The 
Macho Man! The Macho Man Randy Savage, he will face off against the Dynamite Kid at WrestleMania. Unbelievable. The Macho Man defeats Roddy Piper in a pretty good steel cage match. I'll give it that. A pretty good steel cage match here. These two were going back and forth. They were jousting on top at the very end. But the Macho Man wins his very first WWF Championship. And he did not win it at WrestleMania. So he did win the WWF title here in his simulation series in 88. He didn't win at WrestleMania. Macho Man. Macho Man defeats Roddy Piper in a steel cage match. And wins the WWF Championship. Let's move on to our next event. WrestleMania. WrestleMania 4, guys. Trump Plaza. Look at this setup here. Whoever set this arena up, you did a fantastic job. Try to recreate the Trump Plaza here for WrestleMania 4. Great job on your part. All right, guys. Is the Twin Towers going to become the new tag team champions? Or will Strike Force continue their dumbest or the tag team division here? And it looks like Strike Force. Strike Force is still your WWF tag team champions. No holes bar match. Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man versus Harley Race here. And Harley Race teaches the young Ted DiBiase a thing or two about winning in a big match here at WrestleMania. The Bushwhackers versus the Hart Foundation here. And the Hart Foundation picks up a very big win here. A much needed win here at WrestleMania over the Bushwhackers. Mr. Perfect versus Greg the Amber Valentine here. And Greg the Amber Valentine with an upset here over Mr. Perfect. Demolition versus the Killer Bees here. And Demolition wins. They have a very big win here at WrestleMania. Now, they did win the titles at WrestleMania 4 here, but they also win here at WrestleMania 4 here in a non-title match. Rick Rude versus the Honky Tonk Man. Who is going to walk out as the IC champion here? Will Honky Tonk continue his dominant reign here as the IC champion? Or will Rick Rude become a first-time champion here today? And then Rick Rude! Rick Rude is your new Intercontinental Champion. What I would like to have right now is for all you fat, out of shape, Mississippi sweat hogs, even though this is in New Jersey, but you guys get it. Oh my goodness, he is the new Intercontinental Champion. The Barber Brutus Beefcake versus the Ultimate Warrior here, and Brutus Beefcake walks out as the winner here versus the Ultimate Warrior. Paul Orndorff versus Andre the Giant, who's going to win here, and Paul Orndorff with an upset victory here over the 8th one of the world. The Rockers versus Sheik and Volkov here. And the Rockers defeat Sheiky Baby and Nikolai Volkov. The Brain Buzzers here of Arn and Tully versus the Powers of Pain here. And looks like the Brain Busters defeat the Powers of Pain. In your co-main event here, Hogan versus King Call Bundy. And Hulk Hogan defeats King Call Bundy yet again here at WrestleMania. And here we go, guys. Main event time. Who's going to win here? Dynamite Kid, the Royal Rumble winner. Or will it be the new WWF champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage? This is going to be a classic. Let's check it out. Here we go, guys. Your WrestleMania 4 main event. Dynamite Kid, Macho Man. Matches underway. And remember, if you guys remember, well, you know, you guys probably, you guys most likely weren't alive. I mean, I wasn't even alive then. Uh, Macho Man versus Ricky Steamboat stole the show at WrestleMania 3. You know, if you, you guys are wrestling fans, you guys know that. But man, could you imagine a Randy Savage Dynamite Kid match at WrestleMania, man? That, that probably could have been even better, possibly. So let's see who's going to win this match here. Who's going to walk out as the WWF champion here? Macho Man looking like the dominant champion he is so far here. He defeated Roddy Piper to get here. And what is Macho Man going to do here? He's going to do a slingshot. Slingshot. Oh, right into the middle rope. Ooh. That was... Oh, wait, wait. He's going for the elbow. He's going to go for the elbow. He's going to go for the elbow. Savage. Top rope. Oh, he misses. He misses. What was Diamond Kid going to do here? What is this? Yeah, so for something. Drive-by drop kick. They're very innovative. Like three years. 
in the future. I mean, he was that innovative, though. He was that innovative. Is he gonna win here? Is he gonna win here? He's, oh my god. Oh my god. Punch of the gut there by Savage. Dynamite K, by the time of 88, like, he was very injured. Like, he was hurt. He was wrestling hurt. Very much so. So, I don't know if we would have saw a, a, a classic, per se, though. But we would probably saw a good match between Dynamite K and Ray Savage in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Oh, Gorilla Press. Gorilla Press there by Dynamite Kid. Is he going to be the new WWF champion? We got a new WWF champion out of the Gorilla Press Slam. The Dynamite Kid. The Beast of Macho Man Randy Savage. And we have our fourth, our fourth champion here in this simulation series. Unbelievable. This unreal. Wait, wait, what's going on? You just won. You just won the title. No. What are you doing? The single. No. He just turned him for no apparent reason. Why? Why do this? You won the title. You got your respect. And I got a zero star match from Dave Meltzer. Like, like what? I don't think it was a zero star match. Good Lord, man. I'm about, talking about rating toughly here. Every match that we watched so far, there's been a title change. Okay, guys. Let's move on to the next Saturday night main event. And the new champion is the Dynamite Kid. All right, here we go, guys. Saturday Night's main event. And look at this here. We have the Dynamite Kid, the new WWF champion, still teaming with the British Bulldog. And they're going to take on the Rockers. And in your main event, we have the Twin Towers versus Strike Force WrestleMania rematch for the Tag Team Championship. All right, guys, let's simulate here. Let's see who are going to be the winners here of this series and we have the British Bulldogs defeat the Rockers Ted DiBiase versus Harley Race Ted DiBiase the million dollar man wins totally an arm takes on the Bushwhackers who's gonna win here and the Brain Busters win yet again Greg Valentine versus the Honky Tonk Man and Greg Valentine comes away with the upset over the Honky Tonk Man Randy Savage versus Paul Orndorff and Randy Savage wins in a bounce back match here at Saturday night's main event. Demolition versus the Killer Bees, who's gonna walk away the winners, and it looks like Smash and Axe defeats Brian Blair and Jim Brazil. Fabulous Rougeau's taking on the Heart Foundation, who's gonna walk away the winners of this match, and the Fabulous Rougeau brothers, another Zero Star Classic, defeat the Heart Foundation. Hogan, Andre the Giant, yet again. Who's going to walk away the winner this time? And it, this time, it's going to be Andre the Giant over Hulk Hogan. A rivalry match, They must. the team must have broken up because we have the Warlord and the Barbarian taking on each other. Who's going to win here? And it's going to be the Barbarian, your Royal Rumble Iron Man, your Royal Rumble almost winner, defeats the Warlord in a three-star match. And in your main event, we have the Twin Towers versus Strike Force. Who's gonna walk away as the tag team champions? Will Strike Force retain? And yes, Strike Force retains in a four-star match over the Twin Towers. All right, guys, we're moving on to the next Saturday night's main event. We're in May, we're moving into June. Let's see what our next event is gonna look like. All right, guys, we're here for the next Saturday night's main event. It looks like we have a completely different card that we usually see here. And I am here for it. So we have Jake the Snake Roberts versus the Red Rooster. Dino Bravo versus Coco Beware. Bruce BK versus the Honky Tonk Man again. Rick Rude versus Bam Bam Bigelow. The Killer Bees versus the Brain Busters. Randy Savage versus Paul Orndorff. Mr. Perfect versus the Ultimate Warrior. Again, we have the Rujos versus the Heart Foundation. Okay, here we go. Junkyard Dog versus Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And in your main event, again, for the World Heavyweight title. We have the Big Boss Man and the King of the Twin Towers versus Rick Martel and Tito Zantana Strike Force. Talk about fight forever. They are fighting forever and ever and ever and ever. All right, guys, let's simulate here. Terry Taylor, the Red Rooster versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Who's going to win here? Jake the Snake defeats the Red Rooster in a zero-star match. Dino Bravo versus Coco Beware. Dino Brawl wins in a three-star match. Unbelievable. Brutus the Barber Beefcake versus the Honky Tonk Man. And the Honky Tonk Man wins. Rick Rude versus Bam Bam Bigelow. Rick Rude wins. Killer Bees versus the Brain Busters. And the Killer Bees defeat Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. Randy Savage versus Paul Orndorff. And Randy Savage again picks up the win against Paul Orndorff. 
Mr. Perfect versus the Ultimate Warrior. And Ultimate Warrior win. Heart Foundation versus the Fabulous Rougeos. And this time, 50 50 booking. The Heart Foundation defeats the Rougeos this time around. Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus the Junk Yard Dog. And who's going to win this one here is going to be Hacksaw for the win over the Junk Yard Dog. It is Stripe Force versus the Twin Towers. Will Stripe Force continue their tag team raid? Survey says no in a four star match. We have new tag team champions. It is Akeem. It is the big boss man. It is the Twin Towers. And they walk away. Finally, your new WWF tag team champions. All right, guys, I actually want to check out one Superstars card. We're going to play, maybe even play a match from there as well if I see. A match that I'm intrigued by but uh, let's move on to one superstars card before we move on to our next Saturday night's main event and that's gonna be before SummerSlam so we have a couple more events here before SummerSlam all right the match that I think I'm gonna check out I want to check out this opening match here let's check out Brian Blair versus R Anderson let's see who walks away here in this one-on-one -on -one contest the brain busters are here and I like this superstars arena as well very faithful to the old school arena back in the day so let's see who's gonna win here between r anderson and brian blair let's check it out b brian blair has an early advantage with that bat breaker here you gotta figure if one of these two teams win here because they were very close to each other in the tag team rankings you gotta figure that this will have some effect with the tag team rankings itself so if the killer bees end up becoming victorious here even though it's only a one-on-one -on -one match they may have a good advantage over the brain busters to become the, the new number one contenders that remains to be seen though we'll, we'll see what happens kick in the gut oh uh, he's going for a kick in the gut there nice take over there by brian blair blair now he's going for what's he going for blue thunder bomb what that is not your repertoire that, that didn't happen that didn't happen in 1988 what the hell was that he did not have any type of repertoire like that in 1988 Nevertheless, the Killer Bees, especially B. Brian Blair, defeats Arn Anderson, and in my, in my opinion, is an upset. All right, guys, we're moving on to simulate the rest of this event here. Let's check it out. All right, we're simulating the rest of this event here. Nothing is really on the line here for this event, so let's go through these matches quickly. Warrior versus Brutus. Warrior wins. Valentine versus Rick. Valentine wins, and Rick Rude, who is the IC champion, just lost to Greg the Hammer Valentine. Okay. Nikolai Volkov versus Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels wins. The British Bulldogs and the World Heavyweight Champion Dynamite Kid versus Ted DiBiase and Hulk Hogan. And wow, the team of Hogan and DiBiase wins. The Blue Blazer versus the Barbarian. And the Blue Blazer wins. He defeats the Barbarian, the, 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 the man of the Royal Rumble loses to Owen Hart, the Blue Blazer. In your main event, we have Strike Force versus the Tag Team Champions, the new Tag Team Champions of the Twin Towers. Who's going to win here? And Strike Force gets their win back. They're on the bottom of the card. They're going to go up the card tremendously here by being the Tag Team Champions. I don't know if that's going to give them our Tag Team Child match, though. All right, guys, that is it for this Superstars. This is the only one we're going to check out here. I just wanted to, you know, kind of check it out, see what the weekly shows look like. But let's now move on to the next Saturday Night's main event. All right, let's simulate these matches here. Who's going to win here between Strike Force and the Twin Towers? And the Twin Towers retain their tag team titles. Even though that they deserved another tag team title shot, they did not capitalize this Strike Force. Mr. Wonderful versus Roddy Piper. Who's going to win here? Roddy Piper wins. Demolition versus the Bushwhackers. Who's going to win here? Demolition takes care of the Bushwhackers. Again, we have Greg the Hammer Valentine versus the Honky Tonk Man. And again, Greg the Hammer Valentine defeats the Honky Tonk Man. Randy Savage versus Andre the Giant. We Andre the Giant walks away here, the winner. Shiki Baby and Nikolai Volkov versus the Rockers. And we have the Rockers defeating Sheik and Volkov. The Killer Bees versus the Brain Busters. Who's going to walk away the winners? And Arn and Tully, they get their revenge here on Saturday Night's main event over the Killer Bees. These next two matches here are going to determine possibly what we're going to see here at SummerSlam. Ultimate Warrior versus Rick Rude. Who's going to win here? And the Ultimate Warrior is your new 
Intercontinental Champion Rick Rude had a short tower reign, but but evidently he loses to the Ultimate Warrior. Are we going to see a new WWF Champion? Is Hogan gonna politic his way to defeating the Dynamite Kid and ending a short tower reign for the Dynamite Kid? Who's gonna win this match? And it's gonna be the Dynamite Kid. The Dynamite Kid said, "No, brother." He ain't politicking your way to another WWF title today. I He is still the WWF champion. Main event, Ted DiBiase, Harley Race. Who's going to win here? And it's going to be the Million Dollar Man over the King. All right, so our next event here is SummerSlam, I believe. So we're going to watch a match from SummerSlam. Let's see what kind of card we're going to have there. Heart Foundation versus the Rougeos. Who's going to win here? The Rougeos defeat the Heart Foundation. The Million Dollar Man versus Mr. Perfect. And the Million Dollar Man wins over Perfect. Demolition takes on the Bushwhackers. And let's see who wins here. Again, Demolition defeats the Bushwhackers. Bruce Beefcake versus Jake the Sick Roberts. And Bruce Beefcake wins. Haku versus Hillbilly Jim. And Hillbilly Jim takes the victory here over Haku at SummerSlam. Rick Rude versus the Honky Tonk Man. Two former IC champions in a simulation series going one-on-one -on -one here at SummerSlam. And Rick Rude wins. Sheikin Volkov versus Coco Beware and Hercules. And Coco Beware and Hercules gets the upset win over Shiki Baby and Volkov. Killer Bees yet again going up against the Brain Busters. Let's see who's going to take the victory here this time. It is going to be the Brain Busters. Macho Man versus Andre the Giant. And Macho Man this time defeats Andre the Giant. You know that feud's gonna continue. Greg Valentine versus the Ultimate Warrior for the IC title. And Greg Lambert Valentine becomes a two time Intercontinental Champion. I believe he won it like in like 83, 84. And he wins it here again in 88, taking out the young, up and coming Ultimate Warrior. So the Ultimate Warrior wins the Intercontinental Championship and loses it here at SummerSlam. The Rockers versus the Twin Towers. They are going up against the Tag Team Champions here. Will they become the new Tag Team Champions here? Or will the Twin Towers retain? And no, we have new Tag Team Champions. Shawn Michaels, Mari Jannetty. They did not win the Tag Team Towers in real life. Okay, yeah, yeah, there was a taping that they won it. But that that's never actually a part of the Tag Team history. So they actually win the Tag Team Towers here against the Twin Towers. Main event time, Hogan, Dynamite Kid, let's check it out. For the WWF Championship match is underway. Will Dynamite stay the champion here? He has a very much so disadvantage here against Hogan in this match. Look at how just big, just bigger Hogan is compared to the Dynamite Kid. But they're doing some early chain wrestling here in this match. They are outside the ring brawling right now, guys. Referee's out a count of six here. If they have a double count out here, wow. That would be a very crappy way to end the very first SummerSlam. But no, Hogan throws the Dynamite Kid back in the ring here, and we're going to continue this match. Oh, look at this here. Big scoop. Power slam. A big power slam there by Dynamite Kid. He didn't go for the cover, though. I think that's a mistake. Oh, there's a mistake there because Hogan, he's going to make you pay. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Oh, man, big shoulder block there. Man, I don't want to say that Hogan's getting dominated, man, but but Hogan's has... Oh, my God. No! I should say the Blood drop! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! The, oh, the ref's getting... Oh, man, that was kind of a late. It doesn't... Oh, the ref got down late to count the pinfall there. And Dynamite Kid kicks out at two. Hogan's feeling from the crowd here. Oh, and Kid... No! Oh, he's all getting up! He's all getting up! No! You is right! Big right hand! Big right hand! Big right hand! Off the ropes! The big boots! Oh my god, it's the leg drop! Out of nowhere! Is that it? He's not going for the pinfall! No, it's a dynamite kid! He comes back! Levels Hogan! In a two! In a two count! Unbelievable match here at SummerSlam! Oh my goodness! Oh, he's going for the gorilla press! Hogan! Oh, he's in trouble. Hogan's in trouble. Hogan's in trouble. No! Politicking for Hulk Hogan. Maybe there is. Oh, he barely gets his shoulder up. Four. Is this going to be a power slam here? Another power slam. 
Hogan, a, a rope break. And Hogan sits up like he's Undertaker. What the hell am I watching? No cell Hogan. Oh, he just pushes. Oh my goodness, he just pushes away Dynamite. The kid's in trouble. Scoop slam. Here we go again, another leg drop. Politic, politic. He's gonna politic his way to the WWF Championship. And Hogan is the WWF Championship champion yet again here at SummerSlam. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Oh my goodness. That was a hell of a match. That was a hell of a match between these two. It started slow, but it really picked up at the end with those false finishes there. Hulk Hogan is the new WWF champion. He wins it back here at SummerSlam. Let's move on to our next Saturday Night's main event. We are going into September. We have just a couple shows before we move into the Survivor Series and into the rest of the Simulation Series. All right, let's run down the car. Mr. Perfect versus Ultimate Warrior. Mr. Perfect with Bobby Heenan gets the victory over Warrior. Are we going to see another title change here? Rick Rude versus Greg Dammer Valentine. Is Greg Valentine a transitional champion? Survey says yes. And looks like Rick Rude has won the IC title yet again here in this simulation. Bruce Beefcake versus the Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man defeats Bruce the Barber Beefcake. Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man versus Mr. Wonderful. And the Million Dollar Man pays his way to victory. Heart Foundation versus Strike Force. Very interesting match between two baby face tag teams here. And the Heart Foundation with a much needed win here over Strike Force. We have Demolition versus the Killer Bees here. And the Killer Bees defeats Demolition here at Saturday night's main event. Andre the Giant versus Harley Race. And Andre the Giant defeats the King here at Saturday night's main event. Brain Busters versus the Rougeau Brothers. Who's going to walk away the victors here? And looks like Tully and Arn defeats the Rougeau Brothers here. Your cold main event. We have the Twin Towers versus the Rockers for the Tag Team Championships here. What's going to happen here? And it looks like the Rockers are still your Tag Team Champions. They win here over the Twin Towers. You got to figure that the Twin Towers are going down to the bottom of the list now at this point in time. And in your main event, you have the Macho Man Randy Savage versus Hulk Hogan. The mega powers explode here. Is Hogan still going to hold on to the title here? Or is Macho Man going to walk away the new WWF champion? Let's find out here. And Hogan, 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 Hogan says, no, brother. I'm still going to be the WWF champion at the end of this all. The Feast Macho Man Randy Savage for the WWF Championship. So we're moving on to, at this point here, I think we're moving on to another Saturday Night's main event before we move on to, yeah, yeah, because we're in October now. So we're moving to another Saturday Night's main event before we move on to the Survivor Series. So let's check out this next one here. Let's see what changes here before we go into the Survivor Series. All right, let's simulate through this card here. Piper versus Savage here. And Roddy Piper defeats the Macho Man here at Saturday Night's Main Event. Bruce the Bar Beefcake versus Ravishing Rick Rude. And Brutus is your new WWF Intercontinental Champion here. The Heart Foundation versus the Bushwhackers. And the Bushwhackers get a win over the Heart Foundation. Greg Valentine versus the Honky Tonk Man. And Greg the Hammer wins. Demolition versus the Killer Bees. And Demolition gets the win over the Killer Bees. Andre the Giant versus Paul Orndorff. And Andre defeats Mr. Wonderful. The Warrior versus Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect. And Mr. Perfect wins. Are we going to see new tag team champions? Or are we going to see the Rockers retained here? Let's check it out. And no, it looks like the Twin Towers, they get their titles back here over the Rockers here at Saturday Night's Main Event two-time tag team champion. Or three-time at this point. I don't even know. I think they're three-time champions at this point, right? Arn and Tully Blanchard, who have been denied the tag team titles at this point because they just keep winning. They're going up against the Rougeau brothers. Who's going to win here? And looks oh, look at there you go. Look at that. The Brain Busters continue to win. This time they defeat the Fabulous Rougeau brothers. And in your main event, still cage match. 
Ted DiBiase, Hulk Hogan, who's going to walk into the Survivor Series as your WWF Champion, who's going to win, and it is going to be the Million Dollar Man, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, walks into Survivor Series as your new WWF Champion, unreal, unbelievable, Hulk Hogan, the two-time champion, has now lost the title again, this time is to Ted DiBiase. All right, so the match that we're going to check out, even though that these guys had three previous matches here, we have yet to actually check out a tag team match here in the simulation. So we're going to check out the Rockers versus the Twin Towers, and we're going to see who's going to walk out as the tag team champion. Before we do that, Hogan, DiBiase, who is going to walk out as the WWF champion? And, oh my god, oh, Hogan, oh my god, he's just stat padding. He is just stat padding. He is your new WWF champion. Oh my god. He is stat padding his way to win 50 world titles by the end of this simulation. Okay, that's not going to happen because we only have one event here after. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, Stripe Force versus the Sheik and Volkov. Sheik and Volkov have been very featured here in the simulation series. So, so has Stripe Force. And Stripe Force has beaten the Sheik and Volkov. So, Virus Series match here Team Barbarian versus Team Jake the Snake. And Team Barbarian defeats Team Jake the Snake here at the Survivor Series. Roddy Piper again is going up against the Macho Man Randy Savage. And Roddy Piper again defeats the Macho Man Randy Savage. Here we go, guys. We are going to check out our co-main event match here. Let's see here who's going to win between Mari Gennetti, Shawn Michaels, the Rockers, versus the Big Boss Man Akeem of the Twin Towers. Let's see who walks out with the championships. All right, guys, your Survivor Series co-main event here. And look at this arena. Nice arena here. Here come the Rockers. You got to like it here. The 80s hairdo. Janetti, Michaels looking very vibrant here. They're go They're having the girls screaming. They're going crazy for the Rockers. Can they become the new WWF Tag Team Champions here at Survivor Series 88? Can it happen? Can it happen? Can it happen? Okay, I don't, I don't know. But, but it'll be pretty cool if it can happen. And there we go, guys. I can't I can't have anything good. Jesus, man. You had you had to have at least one or two freezes during the simulation, don't you? Okay, we're going back into it. We're gonna skip the intros. Next thing you're gonna see is the match underway between these two tag teams. Alright, here we go. We're back, guys. Matches underway. The Rockers versus the Twin Towers here for the WWF Tag Team Championship. So let's see who's gonna win this match. I love this arena, man. Good lord, man. Like all these arenas that has been made here for this simulation series have been fire fuego i love them all i really thought that was it but it looks like janae is gonna try in this here now oh my good super kick can a team break this up in time we got a one we got a two shots in the ring a two count oh my goodness a two count oh spine buster spine buster that's a two that's a three and the twin oh this is elimination match what this is an elimination match. One, two. This is an elimination match for the tag team titles. I did, I, wow. I had no idea. It doesn't look good for Sean, though. Let's be honest. Big boss man. Oh, man. There's that spine buster. That's the way that Mari Gennetti got eliminated. It's just been Shawn Michaels versus the big boss man here. In these last moments of this match, Shawn Michaels, you put up a valiant effort and you still kick out at two. Wow, you you may need to keep him here, boss man. Y'all may need to do a double team move here on Shawn because Shawn is not going to go away. Shawn refuses to die here. Sean refuses to die here. He's going for a pinfall here. That is not going to work when it came there. Two. Breaking up by All right, Big Boss Man. He's looking to finally end it here on Shawn Michaels. We're going to see a Boss Man slam. It is going to end it all. No. Sean refuses to die. He really wants to become the tag team champion. What a net breaker there out of nowhere. Look at the force. Look at the force. The force is the force. Is the force going to help Shawn Michaels defeat the Big Boss Man? We got a three count. We're down to a one-on-one -on -one match. I really thought that. I really thought this, this was over when he became a two-on-one handicap match. Oh, my good. Giant swing here by Akeem. Giant swing here by Akeem. He just saw his partner get eliminated. He's going to pull out a giant swing. I've seen it all here in this match. Oh, don't tell me that's what's going to do it. 
Don't tell me a giant swing is gonna end this match. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. A giant swing. The secret weapon of this match was a giant swing that ended this match. And the Twin Towers are still your tag team champions. I didn't even know this was an elimination match, but damn it, it was a good one. Still the tag team champions. Is Bossman, Bossman's bleeding, he's bleeding a little bit. He got busted up in the hard way. Akeem, the African dream, the big boss man, the Twin Towers are still your tag team champions. And let's move on here through the rest of Survivor Series. I believe we have one more match. What a tag team title match. And here is the main event, Rick Root versus the Honky Tonk Man. Who's gonna walk out Survivor Series the winner? And it is gonna be the ravishing one. All right, guys, what a Survivor Series card. What a match. I'm glad we saw this tag team match because that was pretty amazing. Move on on to our last event here. Let's move on to the last Saturday Night's main event. We're going to watch a match from there, probably the WWF title match, and let's see who's going to end the champion here in the simulation series. Before we do that, we like to check out the rosters, the rankings, all that. This is what we do. We check out the history of the title in the simulation series as well for each division let's check out the world title division here it started with hulk hogan uh wait hold on a second i don't i don't like how they do this it started with hulk hogan it went to roddy piper to randy savage to dynamite kid back to hogan back to ted DiBiase, and now it ends with hogan here in the simulation series is hogan gonna walk out the champion here in 1988 we're about to find out i see championship here it started with the honky tonk man went to ravishing rick rude to the ultimate warrior to greg the hammer valentine back to rick rude and now to the current champion bruce beefcake is he gonna walk out still the ic champion at the end of this thing and our tag team champions here it started with strike force to the twin towers to the rockers Back to the Twin Towers. They've been the dominating team here in this tag team division. Here we go, guys. The final match. Here we go, guys. The final event here. Saturday night's main event. Let's run down the card. Let's see what the tile matches are. And, yeah, let's watch one last match. We have Stripe Force versus Sheik and Volkov. Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, former WWF champion, faced off against Mr. Wonderful. For the IC Championship, Bruce Beefcake is going to take on Greg the Hammer Valentine. Demolition versus Brett the Hitman Hart. Don Morocco versus Hercules Hernandez in a rivalry match. I can dig that. Rick Rude versus Mr. Perfect. Two best friends in real life, and they are going up against each other. Oh, no. Tully and Arn are going to get screwed out of a title shot. Tully and Arn versus the Killer Bees. They will not become tag team champions here in the simulation series. And that just hurts my heart. We do get another match between the Rockers versus Akeem and the Big Boss Man. But it's not for the titles. That is very upsetting. It is not for the titles. Oh, man. Extreme Rules match. Okay. I don't know why. There's, there's no such thing as an Extreme Rules match. But damn it. It's going to be Randy Savage versus Roddy Piper. And in your main event, not for any title on the line whatsoever, Hogan versus Andre the Giant. It's a still cage match. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that this is actually about to happen right now in this last simulation, this last event. Oh man, I mean, gosh man, we're gonna have to watch the IC title match, man. I mean, we didn't, and you know what, that's fair, because we haven't seen an IC title match, but I'm just disappointed that the game's been booking it so well, and the last event, it just lays an egg. That is very unfortunate, but let's check out Greg Valentine versus Beefcake. Before we do, Strike Force versus Volkov and the Iron Sheik, and Strike Force, they walk into 1989, victorious over the Sheik and Volkov. Ted DiBiase versus Paul Orndorff, who's going to win here? And the Million Dollar Man walks into 89 with a victory. All right, guys, let's watch this match here. Greg Valentine, Bruce Barbie Kick. Who's going to win this match? Who's going to walk out 
the Air Continental Champion. Well, here we go, guys. Final match here in the Simulation Series. The IC tiles on the line. Are we going to see a sleeper hold by Bruce Beefcake? Or are we going to see the figure four leg lock here by Greg Valentine here? Who's going to walk out the IC Champion? Greg Valentine has woman here. I don't know why. Look at that. His hair is so flowing like a woman. I mean, it, it was the 80s, but, you know, you guys know what I mean. I'm going to stretch here by Greg Valentine. He is a submission specialist. He is a technical specialist, but that ain't going to end the match here. Getting the gut. Ooh, nice drop to a hole. Beautiful, beautiful move. Oh, big knee. Big knee out of nowhere. Brutus just knocked out Greg Valentine. And him. Maybe not. He can't believe it. Oh, Greg Valentine. Oh, man, he is known for his power drivers, but no, Bruce B. Kick scouted it well. He scouted it very well. He refuses. Oh, here we go. He will get to the slipper roll. Slipper roll. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. Rope break. Rope break. Rope break. No. Very bad position there to use the slipper hole right then and there from Bruce Beefcake. You got to figure Bruce wins that him and Hogan are going to be hanging in bang after the show. Oh, Greg Valentine. Oh, he's going to get it this time. He's going to get it this time. Oh, pal driver. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I thought, oh, no, no. No, you look at this. Bruce Beefcake. He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to no sell it. I'm gonna use my uh, my Hogan control card here. The barber, look at that. Left hands, left hand jabs, and a oh, big right hand there by the barber. Oh, big knee there. Oh man, that's it. That's it. And the barber and Hogan are gonna be hanging and banging their way into 1989. Very standard match, nothing special here, but Bruce Beefcake defeats Greg Valentine in a very mid, it was mid, very mid match. Still the IC champion, walking into 89, the IC champion, walking into Warrior Rumble 89 as the Intercontinental Champion. My, 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 has history changed here in this simulation series. All right, so we're going to move on for the rest of the card here, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really do appreciate you guys come in checking it out you guys are everything to me uh just checking this out so i really appreciate it all right guys let's end this here we have the heart foundation versus demolition who's gonna win here the heart foundation rolls into 1989 with the victory don morocco versus hercules two men that we never really seen here in this simulation but who's gonna walk into 89 with the victory a four star match that's the highest ray match here in the simulation, I think, and Hercules wins. Mr. Perfect versus Rick Rude here, and Rick Rude defeats his best friend, Mr. Perfect. The Killer Bees versus Tully and Arn. Tully and Arn got screwed out of a tag team title shot, and they are still rolling into 1989 as the number one contenders, but they have not got a title shot. Maybe they'll get that 89. I don't know. We're, you know, we probably won't even see that at this point. Akeem and the Big Boss Man. The Twin Towers versus Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Who is going to win here? Non-title match. And the Rockers win. Wow. So, screw Tully and Arnett. <laughs> For real this time. Jesus. Extreme Rules match. I don't know why. Randy Savage versus Roddy Piper. I mean, I know why. They've been feuding, like, most of this video anyway. But I don't know why it's an Extreme Rules match. Because it didn't exist back then. But it doesn't matter. Because Randy Savage wins. And he defeats Roddy Piper. Main event, still cage, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Who's going to win here? Hogan's not going to put his talent on line. That means he's going to lose, right? Yes, of course he loses. Of course he loses when the title is not on the line. You got to love Hogan, man. He's going to politic his way all the way into 89 and into the 90s. All right, guys, that is it. I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. If you guys were new, Go ahead, leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you made it this far to the very end of the video, and if you made this very far, leave the comment down below. Brother, brother. All right, just a one brother. I mean, you can put brother, brother. I don't care. Just leave the word brother down below. That's how I know you guys made it to the very end. That is it, guys. What year would you want me to do next year? Leave it down below. What company? What year? Let me know. But that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. Enjoy the Royal Rumble if you are watching. Have a great day. Peace out.